Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a basic uh, drafted part from a two-dimensional drawing into a three-dimensional drawing and we're going to be doing that in Design Spark Mechanical. So we'll go ahead and open the program. This part is in uh, millimeters. So once the Design Spark opens, we want to go ahead and create a new design and we want to make sure go to File come down here to design spark options go to units make sure that it's in millimeters so we'll go ahead and say okay go back to the design part we're going to change this to plan view by clicking the eye icon we're going to minimize now we're going to drag in our drawing and now to size this up i'm going to be drawing the outer circle which is 77 millimeters so I'll go ahead and go from center out. We'll do 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, now we're going to have to control minus to zoom out. And then we'll have to uh, blow this part up a little bit. So click on the outer edge. Hold down the shift key. probably the fastest way to draw a part if you're new to drafting because you have the part right there so there's not going to be any any uh, mistakes okay so let's go ahead and start drawing this so we're going to grab our circle tool and our first circle here in the middle is going to be uh, 15 millimeters so we'll type in 15 and we're going to draw this second circle here which is going to be 25 so we'll type in 25 Okay, now we're going to have this uh, outer circle right here. This part right here is going to be 66. So we'll go ahead and click, drag out, type in 66. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get our corner tool, see where we're at. Okay, now we're going to have to draw these little squares right here. So what I'm going to do is get the line tool. I'm going to put a line straight down the middle. Okay, go ahead and zoom in, control plus. Now I'm going to go offset these. So go ahead and get our offset tool. <clears throat> I'm going to offset it two millimeters to the left, two millimeters to the right. Now I'm going to draw a line here. Turn on our uh, snap to grid. And I'll draw a small line there. And I'm going to offset this. Actually, I don't want that. I want to click on that. Go offset line. Then I'm going to come up to 15. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get our trim away tool and get rid of some of these lines we don't need. Actually, let me undo that. Okay, we're going to go just down to here. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to revolve this piece around here. So we're going to go ahead and select move. Let's click and drag a uh, marquee around these parts here. I'm going to come over here to check on, make sure check box on create patterns is checked. And we're going to scroll that down to there. I'm going to grab our blue arrow. I'm going to move around until there's five of these. I'm going to click off. Now we're going to come in here and trim. So we'll go ahead and get our trim away tool. Drag a mark. Well, I guess that doesn't work. Go ahead and get rid of all this stuff.
Okay, once we got all this stuff, let's zoom back out. Now we're going to draw this notch in here. So we'll go ahead and put a line from there to there. Click off of it. Now we're going to rotate this line 15 degrees. So to do that, we want to click on the line. We want to click on move. And we want to go ahead and move this to 345. So 360 minus 15 is 345. So we're going to go ahead and do that there. Now we're going to um, go ahead and get another line. Another line from there to there. And then we're going to click on this line, go up to move, and we're going to move it the other direction, 15 degrees. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get the trim away. And trim away that uh, lines we don't need. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, select, well, sorry, undo. Make sure when you select you're not in the trim away part because that will take your lines with you. So go ahead and select that notch that I just drew. Go ahead and select move. We'll come over here and check create pattern. We're going to drag this down to the center. We're going to click on the blue one and we're going to drag around until we have four. Or five, actually. Four, yeah, four. Okay, now we'll get our trim away tool. We're going to go ahead and get all this stuff. Okay, now we're going to draw our lines. And I believe our lines are at the 66 millimeter. It looks like they, it intersects right there. So we're going to go ahead and draw a circle. We'll come out 66 millimeters. Now we're going to draw circle right here that's five millimeters so we'll come out type in five hit enter now we're going to go ahead and move and select that create patterns then we'll go ahead and move this down to here to the center then we're going to click and drag okay we'll go there first all right, now we're going to have to do another one for these. So we'll go ahead and click that. Make sure the create pattern is checked. I'll drag that down to there. And we're going to click and drag. Thirty degrees. Make sure thirty degrees is on. That's where they all need to be. And now we'll go ahead and get rid of this line. Don't need it. Okay, so the base is 10 millimeters thick, and the overall top part's 25, so this will be 15. So we'll extrude this 10, and we'll extrude this piece 15. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, get rid of these circles that we don't need. Okay, that should be our part. Now we'll go ahead and spin. Give it a little spin. We'll select pull. I'm going to click on that part there. And we're going to say minus 10. Yeah, that's going to be our base. And we want to click on this part and type in 15. Oh, helps to be in the pool. Go to pull tool, select that part, type in 15. And there we go, there's our part. Go ahead and give it a spin. Looks like there's a piece down there that we could probably, not supposed to be like that. We'll go ahead and drag this down to 10. So undo, let's click, say 10. There we go, make that go away.
All right, looks like a pretty decent little little part. We don't need that in the middle there. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then also we have those on all of these holes. We don't need those. Go ahead and hold down your control key. Get all those spots. Hit delete. I think I deselected. Deselected this by accident. Okay. Okay, there's our part. Go ahead and view that in the ISO. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you got something useful out of the video and you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching.